been in a beautiful arena with wonderful Philadelphians. This is a very dangerous thing to do, so I hope you'll hold on tight when we get to the middle part of this song, which as I say is very, 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 very dangerous. And uh, if we get back home, if we get back home, then uh, I'd love you to give us a little bit of a cheer just to sort of welcome us back home. Because, see here's the thing, because of uh, Einstein's relativistic clock paradox, what may have happened is we will all have been on a trip out to the edges of the cosmos and perhaps we come back just one year later, or at least we think it's just a year later, but to all you folks back home, who knows what may have happened, it may be a hundred years later, maybe two hundred years. You believe me? You should! It's not science fiction, this is fact! to sing and clap, that's going to help a lot as well. Okay. You want to sing and clap and stuff? Okay, please welcome, please welcome the uh, crew of the spaceship which is about to take us on this trip. The astronauts, ladies and gentlemen, and in first place in the cockpit, Navigator and pretty damn fine bass player into the bargain, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Neil Fairclough. And the man with his hand on the rudder, if I may say so, and a pretty fine bass player, our old friend, Mr. Spike Edney. Did I say bass player? No, I didn't. He's a pretty fine keyboard player. He is a bass player, but he's a pretty good keyboard player. Well, you know, you can't get everything right, can you? Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, children. No, I do apologise. I was at a Katy Perry show last night, so I'm just saying it all right on. <laughs> well, you see, this is a live show. You get the mistakes as well, and that's what we're proud of. Just ask poor old buggers here, right? Shall we do this? Yeah! One, two, three,
Oh,